The next kind of functional group we're going to look at is the carbonyl group, which is a carbon double bonded to an oxygen. It's kind of like the carboxyl group, except it doesn't have that second oxygen. There are two organic families that share a carbonyl group, the aldehydes and ketones. Aldehydes have a primary carbonyl, ketones have a secondary carbonyl. In aldehydes, the double bonded oxygen is primary. It's on the end. It's used as preservative, and its name is, prefix or number of carbons, anal. For example, methanal. Methane aldehyde. That's methanal. H-C-H-O. Formaldehyde is used not just as a preservative for dead organisms, but it's also used in the glue that holds particle board and plywood together. But you got to be careful, not only is it highly flammable, it's also highly poisonous. So please don't make a cook fire with particle board or plywood. Ethanol would have two carbons and it would be an aldehyde. CH3, CHO. Ketones, the carbonyl group, is on a middle carbon rather than an end carbon. General formula is carbons followed by the carbonyl group followed by some more carbons. It's a secondary carbonyl group. These are used to make nonpolar solvents. They're excellent nonpolar solvents. What you do is you put a number to say where that carbonyl is located, then the number of carbon prefix, unknown. For example, prop unknown would have three carbons. 2 prop anone tells us that the carbonyl group is the middle one. CH3, CO, CH3. Just like that. 2 propanone also is called acetone, sometimes referred to as nail polish remover. It's an excellent dissolver of certain nonpolar materials like enamel. Fingernail polish is just powdered enamel that's been dissolved in acetone. When you brush it on your fingers, the acetone evaporates. The heat of vaporization that it's removing is why your fingernails feel cold while they're drying. And then what's left behind is the enamel once the acetone evaporates away. 2-butanone. But, four carbons. 2-butanone, second carbon in from the end. There's your carbonyl group. CH3, CO, CH2, CH3. Sometimes called methyl ethyl ketone, this is a very good solvent as well.